Hey guys, I'm Rival. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the Season is here, so we got a little more interest in the game. Team of the Season, always a good time. So here in the video, we got to... First off, we got to take a look at the cards, the sets, right? How much does it cost to get these cards? But also on top of that, we do have an Elite Pack and an Ultimate Choice Pack. Let's go. And for Team of the Season, we're going to see a Kucherov, a McKinnon, a Makar, a McDavid, a Quinn Hughes, and a Connor Hellebuck. Along with some other cards here, but those are the big dogs. And to start this video, we'll take a look at all of these cards really quick. And then we'll take a look at the sets and how much it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you 40 collectibles. I'll let you know that. But we'll take a look at what that equivalates to in a second. We take a look at Nikita Kucherov, 5'11", 181 pounds, left-handed. They're going to give you a plus 3 on the synergies, which is really nice. Take a look there. Bim, bam, splat. We take a look at the abilities, unstoppable force, make it snappy, puck on a string, tape to tape. It's tricky. And my favorite ability in the game for a zone ability here, Elite Edges. Nikita Kucherov, a sniper. With that being said, his shot is always good. But here on the team of the season, we see a bunch of 99s. Well, that's with. That's with shooting boost. 99s across the board, but without anything active. 99s on the accuracy still. And a 98-97 for the power. Just a really good card, man. Maxed out hands. Skating, 97 acceleration, 96 speed, 99 on the agility. You could get those numbers up depending on your, your synergies up here. Next up, we get Nathan McKinnon. The card art looks awesome, by the way. I love it. It's not the headshot with stats. I appreciate that. Synergies, looking as so abilities. Elite Edges, 1T. Make it snappy. Puck on a string. Wheels and Unstoppable Force. I do like Unstoppable Force on Nathan McKinnon because he is six foot nothing. He's got some weight on him, though, 200 pounds. But that just makes him even harder to knock off the puck. I like pairing that up with wheels. And if you could pair it up with Elite Edges as well, that is a GG's. That is very solid. Next up, we take a look at Kale McCarr. I am getting this card today. And McDavid. I'm going to get those two. So his synergies looking as so. He's already got 99 on the acceleration, agility, and speed. But you can add on with a speed boost to help your team. It does hit balance as well, I guess. For his abilities, he's going to have wheels, stick him up, quick pick, heat seeker, shut down, and a zone ability of elite edges. That is phenomenal. Love Kale McCarr in this game. And I love Connor McDavid, six foot one, 193. A left handed center. I actually do play him at the center spot. Some put him out on the wing, but I love him at the center spot. You get the puck in the middle of the ice, split the defense, you're gone with a guy like Connor McDavid. He's got make it snappy, elite edges, ankle breaker, shrug it off, wheels, and unstoppable fours. Next up, we have Quinn Hughes, 5'10", 180 pounds. His synergy's looking as so here. A really good card, but I know last year I had a team of the season, Quinn Hughes, and end game hut. It's like everybody is just massive. So by the end of the year, Quinn Hughes, for me, just felt a little too small. I don't know if that's going to be the case again this year or not. He's got Elite Edges, Tape to Tape, Shrug It Off, Thunderclap, Quick Pick, and Born Leader. A great card, man. Great offensive card. Again, just a little smaller. Checking defense, maybe a little lower than you like. But overall, a great card, man. It's a team of the season card. Uh, what else we got here? Next up, we have Connor Hellebuck, 6'4", 216 pounds. Do goalies matter in Hockey Ultimate Team? Eh... I don't think so, but there are definitely bad goalies in this game. I think there are better goalies as well. Um, abilities I like. I like light work. He's got that. I like butterfly effect. I like post to post. He's got all three of them. It should be a good goalie. Like, he shouldn't be losing you games. You know what I mean? We go to sets. We go to first team NHL team of the season sets. And there they are. It is going to cost you 40. 40 collectibles and less. Maybe you have a team of the year. If you do have a team of the year, you just toss it in here. You get back the team of the year and you get back the team of the season. So if you have the team of the year, without a doubt, you want to make sure to do that. We do have sets like MSPs. If you have the 93 MSP Kucherov, you trade that in with 19 team of the season collectibles. A little bit of a discount as far as team of the season collectibles go. Um, another one, maybe you have it like this where you have the X Factor. You can trade in the X Factor. 95 overall with eight team of the season collectibles to get that team of the season. 
And we keep going along there. There you go. That's what they look like. What does 40 collectibles even mean? We go to this set. We go all the way to the right for a 91 overall or better. It would give you six team of the season collectibles with a player's pack. So that's for the 91 or better. For the 90 or better, you would get five with two player packs. And you can kind of just count down from there. So 91, 90, 89, 88, 87s, 86 and so on. So I told you a little bit ago, I'm getting Connor McDavid and I am getting Kale McCarr. The reason being, I have their team of the years. So if you're not that confident in this yet, because I know it's it's a nerve wracking process, right? You gotta throw in a team of the years set. You gotta get rid of one. What if we don't get the card back, right? <laughs> no, you're gonna be good. I'll do it for you. I'll do it first. Oh, I didn't look at the stats though. That's trash. I didn't look at the stats, damn. You do the set and they are gonna be under item inbox. I know in the past, shoot, I went to unopened packs. I'm like, where the heck is my card? They're not there. They will be in inventory. So like I said, you get the team of the year back. You get the team of the season. You might as well do it. Which one is better? Is there any difference? Oh, yeah, there is. This one has a zone ability of Elite Edges. The team of the year has Heat Seeker. Ooh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not sure yet. What about Connor? Team of the season, he's got Unstoppable Fours. This one has wheels. I am definitely going with wheels on Connor. I'm going to keep... Am I? Wait, am I? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep the team of the year for Makar. I'm not sure yet. I might go team of the season. We'll see. And of course, do not forget to check out the team of the season week one. If you get all of these completed, all seven objectives, you would unlock three of those team of the season collectibles. All right, guys, listen, we got we to gotta strike some luck. We got to strike some luck today. We have the Elite Pack, the Ultimate Choice Pack. Let's open them both. Here we go. Maybe I get lucky. Maybe the game wants me back full time. Not been playing that much the last couple of weeks. I have not. I got some hot champs in this past weekend. That's how I got these packs. But, you know, I've been off the game. I've been off the game a little bit. So I am hoping Team of the Season gets me back on. Listen, EA, if you want me back full time, give me a Team of the Season. Just give me one. Give me one in this pack because I have been getting screwed in Ultimate Choice Packs for years. For years. And it's going to... All right. It's going to continue in round one, but I don't know, man. I just... I had a good feeling when I logged on today. We're going to keep going. Um, Round three of five. Nothing yet. We get a Dougie Hamilton. We get a pull in 85. Okay. Well... This is a familiar feeling. Round four, nothing ever happens in round four. Nothing ever happens in round number four. Um, we do pick up an 85. She's twerking. Round five of five. Here we go. Team of the season, team of the season, team of the season, team of the season. I can't even get a damn purple. Oh my gosh. I came back for this? All right, wait a minute. I thought I was done. I'm not. I'm not, I have some player packs to open. So I did some trade-ins. I got some player packs. I got 25, 25 or 30, whatever the heck it was. 25 to 30 team of the season collectibles. I'm either, I don't know. I can build some more. So I can either build McKinnon or I can just wait. I can wait. I'm, I'm probably just going to wait. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do because what if we get a Connor Bedard that I want to build at some point? We might. And I definitely want to build him. All right, player packs. What are we doing here? Fine. You know what? I have gotten some heat this year in these player packs. Reveal all. Rip the band-aid off. 84. I mean, I opened an ultimate choice pack and did not see an 86 or better. The player packs need to make up for it. They have to. Reveal all. Well, we got a damn Sonny Milano in 80 overall, Chet. It is a player's pack. Player pack's not good. They're not. They're not. I just, you know, I want to see something. These are untradeable, though. Imagine I get a freaking Connor McDavid. I would just laugh. To get that lucky but unlucky at the same time, that would be a me thing. But we're not getting lucky at all. Oh, boy. See, that's the thing with this set. Whichever one you decide not to use, whether it be the team of the season, team of the year, you could just throw it in there, get your team of the season collectible. You could do that. And you get a player's pack. Watch out. 
And that is going to do it for the video, guys. Team of the season is here. We do have more weeks coming our way. So if you see, uh, if you see these cards and you're not impressed for some reason, there's more. There's more on the way. Me and myself, I mean, obviously, I'm a car at McDavid. But if I were to build anybody, it'd probably be McKinnon. I skipped out on McKinnon for team of the year to get Matthew Kachuk. And that's because I just, I wanted to do something different this year. Every year I build McKinnon, Makara, and McDavid. Every freaking year. So this year I did Kachuk. But now that team of the season is here, maybe I build them. I mean, I got, I probably have enough collectibles if I'm being honest. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Just wanted to hop on and react to team of the season with you guys. Open up the ultimate choice pack. I wanted something a little better than that, but it is what it is. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.